Hey, Psych2Goers, thanks so much for your support. Before we begin, we wanna make a disclaimer that this video is not made to attack anyone, but rather it's made to be a self-improvement guide for those of you who have been feeling a little stuck. With that said, let's begin. Do you think that if you surround yourself with smart, positive people, that you'll be more successful in life? Do you think that same logic can apply to having toxic people in your life as well? Just as surrounding yourself with smart, capable, and positive people can help elevate your life, so too can toxic or manipulative people drag you down and negatively impact your life. But how do you know if the company you keep is positive or toxically negative? There are certain behaviors and personality traits that can wind up attracting toxic people into your life. So here are six undeniable reasons why you attract toxic people. Number one, you're a people pleaser. Do you often find yourself trying to make other people happy at your own expense? As a people pleaser, you might think that you actually have no value to people unless you're doing something for them. You're someone who rarely says no to others because you fear that they'll be unhappy or disappointed in you. This personality trait attracts toxic people to you because they can easily manipulate and take advantage of you, using your inherent desire to help others for their own gain. Number two, you're generous with your time. Being generous with your time is a very desirable character trait because you form stronger bonds and relationships with others when you put more of your time into them. But do you feel like there are some people who abuse this trait of yours? Toxic people are extremely attracted to people who are generous with their time because they know that you'll drop anything that you're doing to tend to their requests and demands. They'll call you up not caring if they interrupt your day so they can talk to you about their problems. They expect you to be there to listen to them or will call you for favors and expect you to come to their aid immediately. In the end, it's up to you to set some boundaries to avoid them from abusing your time. <sighs> Number three, you have a rescuer personality. If you have a rescuer personality type, you see yourself as a white knight and you're someone who jumps in compulsively and often uninvited to save others. You have a deep desire or need to save other people and wanna fix their problems. As a rescuer, you believe you have the necessary influence, charm, or persuasive powers to help change people or their situations for the better. Does this behavior align with your own? This kind of behavior can unwittingly attract toxic people into your life. Similar to how they like people pleasers, toxic people will try to take advantage of your fixer upper or do good mentality to manipulate you into solving all of their problems for them. You have a good nature and a good heart, and you don't deserve to let someone take advantage of you in this way. Number four, you hate confrontations. Does confrontation make you uncomfortable and put you at unease? Do you fear confrontation and try to avoid it? If you struggle with confronting others, you're likely someone who attracts toxic people. This is because a toxic person knows that you won't tell them off when they do inappropriate things. They know they can get away with their bad behaviors around you. A toxic person will take advantage of your preference to understand and accept their flaws over trying to confront them and tell them that what they're doing is wrong. It's a really slippery slope with toxic people. If you feel like you're being pushed around, then put on your big kid undies and establish boundaries for yourself to separate you from them. The best thing you can tell a toxic person is a firm and solid no. Number five, you are loyal. Do you have a romantic partner who constantly makes you feel bad about yourself? Do you stay in an abusive relationship because you feel a sense of loyalty to them? Or do you keep coming over to help a family member who takes advantage of you and your time, but won't help you with anything in return? Just like generosity, loyalty is one of the most attractive personality traits that you can have. Being loyal to your family and friends makes you a very valuable person, but this will also attract toxic people who want to manipulate you and take advantage of your virtues. Toxic people are attracted to your loyalty because they know that they'll have someone to count on whenever they need you, but won't ever do anything for you in return. People who take advantage of you don't deserve your loyalty. And number six, you are overly open and honest. Does lying make you uncomfortable? Have other people ever told you that you are very, very bad at lying? Being overly open and honest can be very attractive to toxic people. That's not to say that being honest is bad but toxic people will take advantage of your heartfelt genuineness. When you're an honest person, you hate lying and think that other people avoid and hate lying just like you do. Toxic people are attracted to this trait. Toxic people know that no matter what they say, you'll believe that they're telling the truth. 
They love the fact that they can get away with anything they do or say around you. To combat this, be a little more selective about who you open up to. Trust your gut and intuition and avoid the people that make you feel uncomfortable. You don't have to tell your whole life story to everyone you meet because not everyone you meet will have the best intentions. As we close out, we wanna be clear that you shouldn't change your good nature just because you got yourself into a toxic situation. Your good virtues are important and valid. There's no reason to change who you are. You aren't weak or disadvantaged more than anyone else's. Just remember to set up healthy boundaries and don't let anyone abuse your good personality traits or make you feel worthless or invaluable because you're worth so much more than that. Did you relate to any of these reasons? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.